Hey kids, Flexing Teacher Weber here. Um, hope you had a good long weekend. Uh, we're going to start a brand new unit today on all kinds of measurement topics. Now the reason I like to do measurement now is because measurement topics involve a lot of math equations. So um, we're going to be using a lot of math equations when we study measurement and it'll connect nicely to our previous unit. Now, we're going to start off with a, a section for one day, something you, you've done before, uh, but you really need to remember this well to work with measurement topics. It's the idea of perimeter. Now, perimeter is something I'm quite concerned about this time of year because I'm actually, this weekend, I was actually out uh, building a, a fence around my garden, or my family was, and we needed to know the distance around my garden. And that's what perimeter is. Perimeter is the distance around the outside of a closed object. So we were interested in knowing how much fence we'd need to um, calculate the perimeter of the garden so that we could get the correct amount of chicken wire fence to put around the garden. Um, so this problem really is me. This is what I was trying to do. Uh, the reason we want to put chicken wire around this garden is because we have a bunny problem. The bunnies come in and eat the the plants so that's why you'd want to know um, how to to build a fence around your garden and you'd need to know perimeter to know how much fencing to buy there's two parts to this problem we're going to look at it says a gardener wants to fence his garden with chicken wire how many meters of fencing will he need so um what i have here is a garden shape and there's a little section that's not part of the garden so um when you're going to calculate the perimeter, you want to know the distance around that entire object that I'm outlining right now. This drawing is not to scale, by the way. This is just um, estimated by me. Now, what we have here is we have a length that's 7 meters. We have another length that's 10 meters. We have a section that's 4, a section that's 3 meters, and then unknown and unknown. So I'm going to put a little, since it's unknown, I'm going to put a little X there for this unknown, and a little Y there for this unknown. Now we have to figure those out. Now, this drawing's not to scale, so you can't just look at it and go, oh, you know what? This distance looks about 6 meters. What you have to do is you have to look at your other measurements to determine the unknown measurements. Now check this out. Let's do X first. So... If you look at what I'm highlighting, the distance from here to here is 10 meters. So that means the distance from here all the way over here is 10 meters. But look at this. This distance right here is 3 meters. So I'm going to put a little imaginary dotted line here. That would mean this distance is 3 meters from there to there. So if this whole distance is 10 and this distance here is 3 meters, then that means that x distance must be 7 meters. Now let's look at the y distance. From here to here, where I'm outlining right now, is 4 meters. From here to here is 7 meters, which means this distance y must be 3 meters because 4 plus 3 makes 7. This entire side would have to be 7 because this side is 7. So now we have all our measurements to measure the distance around this garden. So let's do this now. Now, I want to treat this as a math equation. So when I get you to do these kinds of problems, I want you to write it like this. I want you to write capital P to represent perimeter. P equals, okay, and I'm going to go 7 plus 7 plus 3 plus another 3 plus 4, and plus 10. And I'll just double check that again. 7, 7, 
3, 3, 4, 10. Now I'm going to add those up. Okay, 10 and 7 makes 17. Um, 3 and 7 make 10 for 27. And then, oh, and I'm going to do this differently. 7, 7 is 14. 3 and 3 is 6 makes 20. Plus 10 is 30. Plus 4 is 34. So that means the distance around this garden is 34, and it's really important we put meters. Units of measurement matter. So we're going to say P equals 34 meters. The perimeter around that garden is 34 meters. Now, that's how we calculate perimeter. Add up the distance around. Now the second part of this problem, now that we know the distance around the problem, I'm going to flip forward. Chicken wire costs 50 cents per meter. How much will it cost to fence this area? Well, our perimeter was 34 meters. And 34 meters times 50 cents. So 50 cents for every meter, it's 50 cents. So if I do 34 times 50 cents. Now let's just do a little quick mental math here. We did this earlier in the year. If you remember, um, anything, anytime you multiply by a half or multiply by 0.5, that's the same of taking as taking half of a number. So this is really the same as taking half of 34. And half of 34 is 17. Now since this is a dollar amount, we should have two decimal spots and a dollar sign in front. So that's how much it would cost to buy the chicken wire needed to fence this area. So that's a real-life application of perimeter and something I actually did this long weekend. Okay, um, one last perimeter question. So, it says, find the missing sides of this shape. We've got a rectangle here, and what we know about rectangles is that its op opposite sides are equal, so we've got these two opposite sides are equal, and these two opposite sides are equal. Now, what we also know about this object is that this side right here is 18 centimeters, but we also know that the perimeter is 52 centimeters. So the distance around this entire shape is 52 centimeters. Okay, so one of the things you need to know when you're studying measurement with objects that are not drawn to scale will often show that sides are equal by using these little dashes. So um, if you see this little dash and this little dash means these two sides are equal. And these double dashes right here indicate that these two sides are the same length. Okay, so let's start to figure out the sides we know. Well, we know if this side is 18 centimeters, then the other side must be 18 centimeters. But now we're stuck because we don't know anything about um, these two sides right here, this side and this side. But we do know the total distance around is 52. So let's do this. Okay, let's add up the sides we know. So we know that 18 plus 18 is going to add to 36, right? 8 and 8 is 16. Carry the 1. That's 36 centimeters. Now, if we take the total perimeter, 52, and let's subtract off the sides we already know. So let's subtract off 18 
and 18. So we'll subtract off those two sides, and that will leave us with the length of these two sides. So 52 minus 36. We'll do a little subtraction here. We're going to have to borrow that 5 becomes 4. This becomes 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 4 minus 3 is 1. So that means these two sides, this side and this side, are 16 centimeters. We also know that they are exactly the same length. So that means if we take that 16 centimeters and divide it by 2, we'll get 8 centimeters. That means each of these other two sides, this side must be 8 centimeters, and this side must be 8 centimeters. Now we should double check it. Okay, 18 and 18 we know is 36 plus 8 is 44 and plus another 8 is 52 and that's exactly what it should be because we know the entire distance around this shape is 52 centimeters okay so a little perimeter problem there where you have to work backwards I'm going to give you some questions where you practice calculating perimeter. I want you to make sure you show all of your work neatly. Uh, make sure if you're calculating perimeter that you're writing P equals and you're showing um, what you're adding up or what you're subtracting in a nice, neat, organized fashion. All right. Um, so that's a little lesson on perimeter. Flexing Teacher Weber, out.